lots of moral arguments in this one, lots of really big questions which are being raised and answered and it's entertaining and the crimes are good and yeah, it's a really exciting season. I'm begging you, I'll lose my job, my home. There is this notion that the truth will set you free. Whatever's happened in your life, if you get those corrosive secrets out, you'll feel better for it and you'll be a better person and you'll have an overwhelming sense of well-being. But it's not your fight. However, in 1958, if our Leonard character told the truth about who he is, what he is, and how he lives his life, that truth would mean he would end up in prison. He has to decide whether to, to lie to the police and let everything go, or stand up to his true self and, and define what's important for himself to whether can he truly be himself now. I think this series for uh, Mrs. Chapman and um, Leonard's relationship is quite a test. Pandora's box is open. Leonard is still Leonard. His life is not a sin. She's aware of people and what they might say, and I think this highlights for her what so is going to happen now in the village, the impact on her friends, the community, you know, the, the um, of congregation of the church. Indecency. Her general life in the village is now going to be affected, and it's a real tug of war between that and her absolute maternal feelings for Leonard. I think it's our best one. I, honestly, I really do. I think the writing is up there. It's so good.